Hello, this is Awesome Time, and we have a very special edition this time. Let's get going. Guys, this episode is about one product only, which I am going to review and recommend, which means it's time for sponsorships and outstanding reviews and recommendations. Yeah. Check it out. It's the Make Block Neuron Explorer Kit. This is one of the coolest steam toys I've ever seen, which is why, honestly, I'm not that sorry. The Make Block Neuron Explorer Kit is available exclusively at the Apple Store or Apple.com, but if you stick around to the end of this video, you can learn how to win one of these for yourself. Let's get started and tell you a little bit more about this. Make Block is a global leader in steam robots. Their products are used in over 20,000 schools and their software has over 6 million users. This new kit, the Neuron Explorer Kit, is taking all that to the next level, which is why I've got my iPad out here. What makes the MakeBlock Neuron Explorer Kit so cool is that it uses modular electronic components that you can easily snap together, they're magnetic, and it allows kids to learn programming on an iPad. You're using the language Swift to control this robot in an easy to use way. And it's the same language that's used to control all iOS devices. So you can learn that language with this kit while making your own custom robots that you can control. The 12 included blocks in the kit give you knobs, sensors, LEDs, tone generators, motors, all sorts of cool stuff to make really fun custom robots. In this box are a bunch of cardboard kits to help you make one of four projects to help you get started creating. I'm gonna show you how, but first, I'm gonna need a little bit more space. All right, we're at the studio, so I got plenty of space for all my robot making. Check out the four projects that you can make from the kit. You've got a piano, a ukulele, an LED sword, and this remote-controlled car. Let's go through each of them briefly. So the LED sword has this LED strip inside of here, and then your other blocks are this knob and obviously the power. When you turn this knob, it changes what you see going on here. So let me get it between 36 and 70. Okay, I've got it at 56. So now it should be, yep, it's showing blue. So that's how the program is set up. And then if I turn it up above 71, I should get a rainbow effect going. You can modify all of that in the Neuron app. All right, let's kick off the lights. Ooh. So it's blinking, but let's make it static. That should keep it just on now. So you can see how easy it is in the app to adjust this. Pretty cool. You could hack away on this if you want to change it up. That's the LED sword. This is the Make Block Piano. It's pretty cool. It uses a range sensor, the power block, and an LED strip. So when you press a note, it flicks this thing up, which causes the value of the range sensor to change. And depending on you know how far this is away, it plays a different note. So when I press this down, it does two things. It plays the note and we get a color. See how it turns red? Cool. That one went yellow. Eric, do you recognize the song? Is that the one you wrote for me? Uh-huh. Eric, as you can tell, I'm a musical genius. pretty cool that with just a couple of components from this kit and a little bit of programming, you got yourself a piano. This is the Explorer car. It uses a lot of the built-in components, but just to briefly show you what it can do, let's fire it up. Okay. And you just get a simple spinning, right? But if we wanted to make this go straight, I can just quickly jump into the app here and I can adjust the power to one of the motors. There's one motor per wheel, so let's do that. So I've set their power now so that this guy's going to just hopefully drive straight. Let me turn this on, all right. Oh, there it goes. Bring them back. Okay, so that's pretty simple operation of it. There's some other stuff you can do. Let's try the glowing car. First, I'm gonna activate the glowing by just pressing this here. All right, so we're using that LED strip. Let's fire up the motors. Okay. Pretty cool. It's like a disco bot. This version is the angry car. When you get a little too close to the range sensor on the back here, it's going to light up this LED and kind of run away from you. 
<laughs> Can you see it lighting up there? Playing back some cool sound effects. Next up is the ukulele. I'm actually gonna show you how to build this one, so let's get started. I got a tray full of modules here. I'm gonna load up the included Neuron app. It's really good. It takes you through step by step in the app how to make this stuff, so. All right, it's telling me what to pop out of here. They're really easy to pop out. Okay, so it tells me exactly where to fold. So fold up here and here. It's been pre-scored to make the folding easier. The tab and slot design makes it pretty easy to start putting these together. Okay, my uke is taking a little bit of shape here. These are the funny touch sensors which allow you to interact with your robots. Touching these is how we'll play notes on our ukulele. There we go. Oh yeah, it's looking kind of yuki. <laughs> now we need this sweet LED panel block. So the buzzer block's gonna create the music. They snap together magnetically, which is pretty cool. This is the power block. Once you get connected here, hooking up this ground wire here. These illustrations make it so much easier. It's lining up pretty well, guys. I'm liking the way this is looking. Sweet, we've built it. Okay, my uke's fired up. Okay, pretty cool, right? The funny touch does different notes, and the LED panel mimics the color I'm pressing. So you get blue, yellow, red. And green. You saw the basic functionality this has in their Neuron app. We could play around with this with a nice drag and drop interface. For instance, here, you can see that they've connected the different funny touch switches to different pieces of sound. So right now, the blue plays, I think, a cat. And it's got a meow. So I can get in here and click on this and let's change it to a phone. All right, so anytime I press this, I get a phone sound. There's more stuff that you can do in the drag and drop interface here, but what I think is the coolest is the Swift Playgrounds, where I can take any of these components, mix and match them however I want, make whatever kind of robot I want, and write the program to do what I want to do. I want to introduce you guys to something that I put a lot of work into. It's the High Five Robot. Check it out, guys! This is my High Five robot, my pride and joy. Me and my wife actually built this. It's goofy, but it's supposed to be goofy. Let me show you how it works. So, let's assume I've won the Golden Gummy Challenge and I present it to my robot. It starts spinning, because it wants to give me a high five. High five! And it plays a song, that was the Vat 19 jingle, when you give it uh, a high five. Now, I made this robot using Swift Playgrounds, which is the same language used to program all iOS devices. It's so cool. So let me show you how this thing works. I've got a range sensor here that detects when I've placed the golden gummy bear above it. That activates our DC motor driver to spin our hands. And the funny touch sensor detects which of the four hands I've actually given a high five to. And then finally, there's the buzzer on the top to play the songs that I've programmed. Let's do another one. Okay. High five. What song was that, Eric? Any idea? Everything is awesome. That's right. To get this to work the way I wanted it to, I needed to write code in Swift Playground, which is really fun and surprisingly easy to do. It's just so cool that I can write code on my iPad and it controls this robot via Bluetooth. For totally new programmers out there, MakeBlock has you covered. They've got a couple courses in Swift Playgrounds that will help you get started learning programming. I suggest using the blank Neuron template in order to design your own robots, and that's what I did. They give you the building blocks to create advanced functionality. For instance, there's a function here called Play Sound, and it lets you pick um, a note and a beat, 
And combining that with the wait function, I'm able to create songs. You can see here I've got this function called play that 19 jingle. Additionally, there's functions to detect when the different funny touch sensors have been uh, activated. For instance, there's a function here called if green touched, right? So if the green funny touch sensor is uh, activated, it plays, let's see, I had it play London Bridge is falling down. Okay, I see it. Oh. As goofy as this is, I really had a lot of fun making this. As a programmer, this was a ton of fun for me. And if you're just learning how to program, this is an amazing tool because you can use your iPad and you can so quickly go from writing a little bit of code to having it affect your robot in real life and start working on little sections and just keep working on each little problem, getting things to work the way you want. The most fun about programming this stuff is extending what you've already made, hacking on it a little bit more and let's do a little hacking on this thing. Add on an LED panel. Let's see, if we get a high five, we could have it turn on. So we have this function that checks for high fives and plays a song. So I have to make a new function. Light up is what we'll call it. I want to do an expression. When this lights up, we're going to show the sun. We'll clear the panel when we should stop spinning. Add that, and then for each one of these, Let's see, we'll just call light up. No matter which one we hit, we'll light up. High five, high five, high five, high five. The panel turn on? All right. I love this thing. I had a ton of fun with it. I hope you do too. The MakeBlock Neuron Explorer Kit is not limited to just what you see right here. You can expand and hack on these robots or create your own custom one. This kit is available exclusively from the Apple Store or Apple.com, which I think says a lot about the quality of the kit if Apple wanted this just for themselves. And in my own experience, this thing works really well and all the components are really high quality. Remember, they're giving away 10 of these kits for free. To learn more about that, check out the description below. And as always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and go get your nerd on. Bat19.com